This is sort of an update to a previous story I reported on where a daughter had to stab a dog that they were dog sitting because that dog was attacking her mother. Okay. Mother who suffered a vicious attack by a dog she was looking after is back in the hospital today. She says her wounds from that attack became infected, putting her life in danger. Tell us Tom Jones is live at Grady Memorial Hospital with new developments about the mother's treatment. Tom, horrible to hear. Now, she should have known that this could happen. That one, it could attack her. Two, your wounds could become infected. Okay, this is weeks later. Here. Yeah, just uh, really horrible to hear. Samantha Hessler uh, says she is miserable as she is getting IV antibiotic treatment around the clock here. She says this has turned her life upside down. Her IV antibiotic treatment 24 hours a day. This is weeks after the attack, and this is all because of the infection. Daughter who saved her from that bully pit bull mix and says she knew it had the potential to be dangerous, says she didn't know it could cause all this damage. Knew it had the potential to be dangerous, but didn't know it could cause all this damage. Well, why did you think it was dangerous? I thought this is exactly why you knew it was dangerous. See, people, they think of a dog bite as something minor. You get two little puncture holes. No. And everybody should know that. Especially if you want to bring one inside of your home. They should have photos of people torn apart at the shelter. And the shelter workers should show every potential adopter or adoptee, whatever they call them, several photos of people torn apart, unedited photos. People and kids torn apart, man. Nobody should be this dumb or uninformed. Knew it had the potential to be dangerous as she didn't know it could cause all this damage. I think That's the mom. He's talking about the mother, the woman who was attacked. What hurts the most is like, yes, she's alive, but the recovery, like, it's going to be real hard for her. It break now that's the daughter that stabbed the dog. 16-year-old Kanaya's heart that her mother continues to suffer after she was viciously attacked by a bully pit bull mix. She was dog sitting in their home. She did not think that this dog could cause that much damage. Yeah, nobody should be that ignorant. Really? How much damage did you think a dog like this was capable of then? That is crazy to be. Attacked by a bully pit bull mix. She was dog sitting in their home. Oh, just rah, rah, rah. boom. Kanaya saved her mother by stabbing the dog in the eye. Samantha Hessler had multiple surgeries to repair all the damage. Doctors considered amputating her arm, but she chose to try and save it. Two weeks after being released, she is back. They say she chose to try and save it. They wanted to cut it off. Wow, almost lost an arm. She volunteered to do this. It's not like she just walked outside to get her mail and was attacked by a dog from across the street. This is totally different. Back in the hospital. It's been rough. The IV antibiotics are really taking a toll on me. Kessler was readmitted after her wounds from the attack became infected. She got to the doctor early. If the infection would have been any farther along or any worse, they would have had to take my arm off. Kanaya says the dog attack is taking a toll on the family's finances. She says people don't realize this was no ordinary dog bite. People just think a dog bite is like, oh, a dog just bit me. Like, it looked like she got attacked by a shark. Hessler says doctors have... So there you go. It only uh, became known to her that a dog could leave you looking like a shark attack victim only after someone actually got attacked. That's what I'm saying. Nobody should be this ignorant. They should have photos at the shelters when people come to adopt these things. And why does it look like this man is about to cry? He looks like he's about to cry just listening to her story. 
That is deep. I have no idea when she'll be able to go home. Animal control euthanized the dog. Hessler thinks the owner should face charges for training the dog to be aggressive. The woman thinks the owner should face charges for training it to be aggressive. When did she find that out? Before or after the attack? If she knew that before she was watching it or sitting for it, why did she watch it? Why did she agree to do it? And if she only found out after the attack, again, why? You should have found that out. Shouldn't have been dog sitting. It's like, what are you thinking anyways? You know full well, everybody knows. This is someone else's dog too. It's not even a dog you raised. You know full well it could attack anyone at any moment. There's no need to even go through all of this. Animal Control says the case is closed. Hessler says she's... Animal Control says the case is closed because she brought it onto herself. You can't prove that the guy trained it to be aggressive. She's just making a guess. It's just a wild guess. She thinks that if a dog attacks or becomes aggressive, that somebody taught it to. She, exactly what these professionals or so-called professionals tell them. That's exactly what they say. She's just regurgitating what she's been reading in this nutter uh, Matrix suffered too much and wants answers. I definitely do not plan on letting this go. And Hessler says she is considering legal action. Her daughter made the cheerleading team in high school, but says she will forego that activity because of the cost. Legal action for what? You were the dog sitter. This is another Jacqueline Duran situation. You're making a conscious decision to endanger yourself. Don't tell me you did not know that there was a potential threat. That's exactly why y'all love being around these things, because they're dangerous. And you get off on believing that you're exercising some type of magic on them that makes them not want to attack you, which is, I don't know, very weird and strange. I don't know what motivates you all. But you all know these things are dangerous. You don't get to pretend to be oblivious to the threat only after it attacks. Because before it attacks, you're trying to convince people like me that they never attack as long as they're raised properly. And if you were asked about this particular dog before this attack, you would say it was a good dog, obviously. You've never seen it act aggressively. And this is the problem. All of these dogs are good dogs in your eyes until they attack someone. And we can't even go a day without thousands of them attacking people. We can't even go a day in the United States alone. Thousands. That's all the information we need.